Yo, man. The big question, man, everybody been talking about and really, you know, like, debating about it and getting into, man. You know, walk a flock of flame. Everyday struggle interview. He, he called himself and said he was a whack rapper. And, you know, a lot of people, was, was, you know, had something to say about that. And I'm just going to be 100% honest with you, man. He was and still is definitely a whack rapper. He was. And I don't want, you know, nobody to feel offended or not or anything, but that's just uh, just what it is, man. He was definitely a whack rapper, and I'm glad he's put that out there and said that because that's definitely true, man. He always been a whack rapper. I remember the first time he came out and I heard his very first song and the first time I seen him on TV, the first time I seen him freestyling with Gucci and, uh, and OJ the Juice Man and stuff, he always been hot garbage, fresh, hot trash. He always been trash. Oh, let's do it. Garbage. No rhymes. No metaphors. No flows. Everything. Just screaming. Shaking his dreads. I think I. And then he got. I think he got beat up in a bowling alley. Just a lot of shit, man. Waka Flocka has never been good, though, man. And when, when around the time he came out, it was so many but better MCs that came out around that time period. And that's why he know he whack too. And that's why he said he was whack because he actually is whack. We know this. I mean, let's think about it, man. When Waka Flocka came out, we had people like Currency coming out, Wiz Khalifa was coming out, um, Jay Electronica was like was coming out. It was a lot of people, and so many more. It was so many people that was like bubbling, that was like bubbling coming out around that time from the J. Coles and Kendricks and all that. And we talking about Waka Flocka. Yes, he 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 was and still is trash. Now he did get better over the years, but. He was he's still trash though. Never had a good bar. He's just a screen rhyme the easiest words I can and give me a decent beat. And he's gonna scream and yell all over the track, get you amped. He makes some of the our best music I guess guess if you intoxicated, under the influence, high anything. But you know, he definitely is a whack rapper, and I'm so glad he admitted that. I hope a lot more of these um, whack rappers that, you know, that came and won and the ones that are out right now come out and uh, and be truthful and um, admit they whackness as well because I'm glad he said that. I felt like I've been feeling like this for a long time since the time he came out, and I'm so glad he put that out there. So, so salute to Waka for being honest, man. He is definitely a real one. And I'm actually, I'm a fan now. I'm a big fan of Waka now for keeping it so honest, keeping it so real. I might not download no new no no, no new mixtapes and no Flock of or nothing like that, or uh, buy any albums or whatever. I, even, I don't even know if he still make music or whatever you call it. But I'm a, I, I, I fuck with the honesty. A lot of people say he came in, he changed the game, and was responsible for drill and stuff, and the and that whole way with Chief Chief Keith and that drill all this. I don't. That's not true at all. He Waka Flocka did not invent drill music, and he wasn't. He ain't the founder of no drill music. He won a Gucci baby. He won a OJ the Juice baby. He won a one of them. He won a younger version. He they dudes. It had, he got nothing to do with the Chicago drill music, all the Chief Keep and all them people and, and the Bobby Smurda, the drill music of New York. He didn't start none of that. It was here long before him. I don't heard people say 50. I don't heard Fredo Santana say 50 was a big reason why they was getting it. people like 50 and far as down south, Rocco and all that shit, but not Waka Flocka. Don't get me wrong, he definitely had his moment. A lot of, from my, I remember a lot of females was, I, I knew was fucking with Walker and shit. You know, like at the little parties and shit. The little, little, um, you know, events and shit. He, they was playing that shit heavy on the radio. That, oh, let's do it and all that other shit. He hard in the paint, all that other shit. He was super amped up. Had the, oh, he, you know, he had his moment. But he always been a trash rapper. He ain't the only one that had their moments and stuff and been a trash rapper. He was like, look at the um the little bees and the um 
and all that wave of internet rappers that came out around that time, man. He came in one just like all of them, man. But um, that honesty was what's up, and uh, you know what? I he I he probably is better than Gucci, though. I never got with that that um that tent that um that that I they can't the so icy can't. I thought OJ the Juice was alright in spell, but Gucci and all that. I never thought they. You know, they stuff was that good, and Waka, he came from under that, man, and he, I'm so glad he admitted that he was whack, man. That was some good honesty right there, man, Waka the truth.